Stepping out onto the red carpet for the premiere, Angelina exuded old Hollywood glamour in a custom Tamara Ralph nude-toned gown topped with a matching shawl. Her now blonde hair parted to the side, the Maria star completed her look with a bold red lip. Earlier in the day, she looked ethereal as she posed by the canals draped in a brown chiffon dress by Saint Laurent, shortly before changing into this black floor-length number by the same designer for the film's photo call. Arriving by boat, Angelina was all smiles as she posed with her co-stars. She accessorized her look with a bejeweled Cartier brooch featuring the brand's signature gold panther sitting atop a white gemstone. The piece, which was made in 1971, comes from late opera singer Maria Callas' personal collection and is also worn by Jolie in the film. I fall into a river and you always fish me out. The docudrama covers the legendary vocalist's colossal fame, which also came with intense scrutiny of her personal life, something Angelina hinted that she can relate to at the Maria press conference. Well, there's a lot I won't say in this room <laughs> that you probably know or assume. Spending seven months learning to sing opera for the role, she also opened up about how she was personally touched by the classical genre. When you've felt a certain level of despair, of pain, of love. At a certain point, there is only certain sounds that can match that feeling. However, Angelina admits that nailing the music in the movie was incredibly intimidating. I remember being so nervous. My sons were there and they helped to block the door that nobody else was coming in and I was shaky. Anything but shaky at the premiere, she beamed as director Pablo Lorain greeted her with a kiss on the hand at the film's premiere. Angelina going on to sign autographs for a very lucky group of screaming fans.